Also, do you see me? I added the uh, I oh, freeze framed yeah. hardball. We're recording. I uh, freeze framed hardball. No. Uh, throw me the ball and watch what I do with it do, 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 on our last podcast. It sounds pretty pretty sweet. I like freeze oh, framed cool. just for like a, a second. Throw me the ball and watch what I do with it. <laughs> um, Hell yeah. What's up, everyone? We are back. Uh, let's get topical. Jacob, your shirt is like the cover of our, our podcast. It is. And there's a it's, it's a little icy guy. I don't know. If, it's got the polar bear. It like looks the like icy a polar bear. I don't know if SpongeBob. You... Dude, that's a nice shirt. No. It looks like a Tommy Bahama shirt or something. Thanks. Dude, I wore this on the links. Added at least 15 yards to my drive. Where did you play? Usually at? into the woods. Um where did you play at? Shark Park. Have you in Pacifica? Have you been? Oh yeah. A million times. Dude, that place is sick. I mean, I used to, as you know, I, I lived in Pacifica for two years and uh, my whole second year there was not playing baseball. So I just, the first day after I was done with baseball, golf club in the hand. And oh, yeah. I, prob- I probably played uh, 15 rounds at Sharp Park. Oh, nice. Maybe, maybe more. Like it was just right down the hill and I would go there after yeah. class like a lot. That was, that was my first time. I loved it. It was it was awesome. Mm-hmm. It's got the forest. It's got the hills. It's got the the coast. It was like beautiful, dude. I really like. I really liked it. Yeah, it's a diverse course. Uh, the it there's a course in my hometown called Beau Prey. Here, let's just look at it real quick. I mean, it's mm-hmm. objectively beautiful. Uh, I would say that Sharp Park's a little nicer, um, but it's it kind of uh, parallels it a little bit, like. The with uh the one in my hometown doesn't go straight up next to the ocean. It's like mm-hmm. more in the mountains, but you'll see what I mean. Like it kind of is almost the same. Like this is Beaupre. That I mean that looks very nice, but it's like yeah, rarely it ever that perfect. Um yeah. Uh, yeah. The one the one thing the the greens were really like slow. Like they it just like you had to knock it on um on the putts and stuff it, it was, was it, it didn't like fly at all was it foggy out there not really dude it was really clear um it was windy super windy um but it was it was really fun it was a really good course i i had a great time um i think i only lost one golf ball which i'm proud of wow uh definitely no no two i lost two um so how long have you been playing now like like have you been playing more would you say recently yeah there was a time where i probably played like once or twice a week i probably play more like once every other week now yeah um i still suck ass uh you know it comes and goes dude one time like for for a month my my driver will be pretty solid and then next thing you know it'll just go away and I can't drive yeah. anything. And then my irons are like amazing. And then those will go away. And then for a uh, time, all of it will go away. And I will hate golf. And I just want to kill myself. And it's uh, it's it's the you know it's just a roller coaster ride that we're all a part of. Um, yeah. Sharp Park. You definitely. Oh, my... You go. I was gonna say the favorite hole on that course, and I highly, highly recommend it. Like I would say, if you went out and started, probably like twenty minutes ago, you could probably get there. Even at this time, it would be nice. But dude, you know the sun sets like obviously over the ocean. Yeah. Um. There's that one hole that is when you come back out of the tunnel. It's that short par three, like ninety nine oh. yards, hundred yards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. When the sun is going down, and damn, I might have a photo on my phone still. I don't know. The most beautiful hole I've ever played on. I swear, when the sun's coming through, nice. it's hard to see the hole, but it's like just perfect. It's like that little like pocket right there. I love it. I love that hole. It's funny because uh, we did that. We love that hole. You know, we came across that hole and we're like, dude, what? It's like, yeah, it's a, a like, par three, eighty-eight yards or something. And we're like, I could what sit is there this? for eight hours and hit shots, like until yeah. I got a hole in one. That would be so fun. Me and my buddies were like talking shit about it. We're like, what? It needs to be farther. How is it this close? What is going on? And then we proceed to all hit just like garbage, just like terrible pitching wedges that like mm-hmm. I skull, I skulled mine over the whole hole into like 
the the other tea box and like the the boys like hit it hit pop ups into the into the trees. It was and then it just like kicked our ass. It felt felt really uh, emasculating, but it was it was great. Still loved it. <laughs> okay, last thing on on Sharp Park. Uh, there's a lot we could get to on that. We could do a whole episode on Sharp Park. To be honest, um, yes. Dude, the, some of the stuff the starter has that guy in that box uh, when you get there to check in. Some of the stuff he has said to me, my friend, is insane. Oh yeah, um, dude, the old guy. It, yeah, that the hole is the I don't know fourteenth that par three with the flag that is humongous. Oh, it's like fifteen he, feet tall, <laughs> bro. It's it, like you have to because you, you can can't still even barely see it. See it. You, you know, you, it's still hard I, to see. Couldn't even. The reeds were like too high. We couldn't even see it. Yeah. And, then, and then we're like, we're like, are we supposed to even hit there? And then we get there and it's like sideways because it's it's just like bending into the into the wind. It was so funny. Yeah, we so were laughing at that one. What we're talking about is this hole that this like this course has like a marsh or like a swamp that cuts through mm -hmm. it. Yes. And it's very thick. And there's this hole that has these reeds that are how tall would you say? Like 50, oh. like they're massive yeah they're, yeah. they're it's kind of unbelievable right. how big they are until you get there and yeah. you're like like right now it sounds crazy and then there's this flag that the par three probably goes up i don't know like five feet in elevation three feet like yeah. it's a little uphill but it's you have to hit over these reeds and so you can't see the green at all there's bunkers you can't see anything all and so yeah unless the reeds are short and like dead or cut you can see the top of a flag and even, be that as it may the flag is still like extra extra tall it's oh, the yeah. yawning of flags. It's uh, dude, I'm almost sure it's two flags put together. Like there's like there's like tape in the middle of it. And so it's like, <laughs> you know, a flag is usually like this and it might be like this. This one is like this. And it's like two two flags. I don't know. It's just it was weird. It was super funny though. It's um, like a like lance. Yeah, that flag is it it's like a you know when you like cast a line out like to to go fishing it's like that but like when you go oh, yeah cast, like when it, when it kind of bends it's way yeah it's like way behind you and then it flings forward it was dude it's so funny um yeah actually i did pretty good on the whole i think we all did uh even though we could we couldn't see like we didn't know which if we should go to that hole or the other flag right next to it it was a whole ordeal but it was really funny this uh this old dude in a cart was just like up our ass the whole time. And he like, he like lapped us and like played what was through he going on about. I don't know, dude. He was just like, he was all over the place. And then he was breathing down our necks for like a hole. And then, and then he passed us and then we skipped a couple holes and got in front of him. So he came on our ass again. It was really funny. Um, it was really funny. I mentioned this before, before we started, I went down to this liquor store down the street from my apartment and uh i got a pepsi to wake up a little bit and i've never never done this before but i wanted to just get a small can of soda uh and so i was looking at the caffeine and i was hard to find for a second so this has more caffeine than a coca-cola wow. and yeah like i didn't know that like i didn't i wouldn't have not had an idea i know mountain do you have a shit has a shit ton of caffeine but like uh i was just i was like that's kind of interesting whatever not not I gonna, really i was gonna say i kind of hate pepsi um my i don't like it as much as uh, coke even close but it has more caffeine that's why i got it you wanted bang for your buck i needed that dude as you i don't know if this was on the pod earlier but i left sam hanging we were supposed to we were supposed to podcast like an hour ago and, and i fell asleep with all my i fell asleep with my headphones on i was strapped in really? had michael turned up had the laptop all ready to go and legitimately like i'm on my bed right now i'm on my bed just like this is this is how i fell asleep nice ball shot for us that would have been hilarious i should just do a podcast with you asleep like that that would be fucking hilarious <laughs> i'm serious though right. dude it was like i was so comfy um called the sod cast because you're mr sandman uh yeah we can podcast d's nuts i always think of sod as dust like sod dust but it's grass Sod. sod. Oh yeah, sod. Yeah. Like I like think of it as like a dirt, like a dusty dirt, but it's grass. Um, yeah. Do you want to play some GeoGuessr? Sure. Let's do it. All right. So I figured we'd do this. Like last time we I fucked up personally and I let this clock go down after I push play. So now we have five minutes. I said we do a speed run as, as fast as we can. 
trying to so like last time it was japan first like i think we have to like go japan like right away and like see how many we can get and how close because it's not fun if we only get to like two in i think you know yeah and and we guessed twice and it was just like japan twice so we got we got like yeah let's get some uh <laughs> diversity yeah all right yeah i'm gonna press play am i sharing this no i am not no uh i don't see the guesser Oh, here we go. This looks like All some right. screen action. We got the black guy again. No idea why. Don't choose that. I don't choose well, I mean, that. I don't see color, um, so I couldn't even tell you, but I'll I'll assume. I'll take your word for it here. You don't like his red glasses? Uh, He's got some Deion Sanders to him, and I like that. <laughs> okay. What? Uh, Deion has the glasses, and he has the hat. I don't, I don't see what the problem is. Oh, uh, yeah. He's he's a I don't know I don't know I have my thoughts on Dion I don't like how he says call me Coach Prime he's just a, it's like oh dude I love Dion I'm all in on Dion Sanders are you serious we can, that, dude we can debate that Dion is the man should we debate that I, I think so if you're anti Dion I'm all in dude should we just put like do we should I just put as like the prompt on that like is Dion an asshole is Dion Sanders an asshole I think that works but Does I think Dion Sanders that, suck balls. But I think that that's what makes him so good is that he is an asshole, but good at what a player uh, being a player. I think a coach is the jury's out on that. We just don't know. What do you yet. mean? Dude, he, he made Jackson state or Jack's uh, whatever state it was. Ja I think it was Jackson state. He made them yeah. sick. Like he made them so good. And are you kidding me? Colorado had one win last season. They were so bad. Yeah. Pepsi and now like shit. Yeah. No, Pepsi's whack, dude. Not good. Sorry, oh, he, he, I get he's 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 the man, but I'm just jealous. I wish I was that good at quarterback and everything yeah. else. I hear that. <laughs> uh, Sam, do you know what I've had before? Worse than Pepsi? Um, RC. Oh no, RC is nice, dude. Race what? car cola, very good. Is that what it means? No, I don't know. Maybe. I think it's no, like right. royal. I think it's royal cola. I think Can you imagine. Think that's oh, you're right. You're right. Can you imagine if it was yeah. race car cola and there's just zero al al like allocation to or a reference to a race car? And it's but just then it would race car soda. It, like it would like it would be RC cola. You know what I mean? Which is what everyone calls it anyway. Like they don't call it just call it RC. I call it RC cola. Yeah. Wait, oh, so really go on. What, what is the worst soda? Dude, last Easter. This guy gave me. Oh, thought it was called last Easter. Peeps flavored Pepsi. You know the white, the 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 yellow oh, ducks, the yellow I marshmallow ducks. That. Dude, it was. It tasted exactly like Peeps. It was so bad, but also like a novelty, and I was I was kind of like, I like went that? in for another sip. It was not bad. Wait, it's so it's not bad. I mean, it it's still Pepsi, so it sucks. But it was like surprisingly drinkable for only like one or two sips. And it was one of those little cans that you have, like the little V8 cans, basically. It was kind of funny. Um, if you, you haven't lived until you tried some Peeps Cola, Peeps Pepsi. I mean, I would try it. I'm I like, I'm down for trying things. Uh, you, you've you been to Soul Food, right? In Santa, oh, or like, I don't know if, if you've been to the one in Santa Fe, but in like the Bay Area. I love Soul Food. Yes. Okay, so the worst We've soda I've ever that. tried, bar none, was there. Um, let me find it. Uh, How bad was the soda, dude? It was it was the worst, and I, and I think it's just uh, across the board with this kind of soda. It had molasses as the sweetener. Ah, and it was that sounds trash, bro. It was trash. really that bad. Like, it was so bad. It was like the worst sweet flavor. I mean, maybe I think molasses is very popular, like in India and like. The Middle East, more of like those countries. Um, yeah, like I, I think it, India for like sweeteners, but not good. It was, let me look, let me just see like molasses soda. But uh, soul food is like Caribbean, right? Isn't it like Puerto yeah, Rican Puerto or something? Rican. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they probably use it too. Um, it was, it was so ass that like I think I took a sip, like one so, sip. It was so lasses. Yeah, dude, it was it was so bad. It was like it was brown. It was like something like uh, I think it was this. I think this might have been it. 
Yeah, that's why I'm associating it with India. I think that's what it was. Mm. It was it was really bad. Um, but soul food's good. Yeah, soul food is good. By the way, I can't see the the soda. Oh shit! Yeah, I'm so. Uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, what I is, think it was this. If that rings a bell, that's why I'm associating it with India. Ah, interesting. No, never heard of that. Malta, India, Puerto Rico soda. Interesting. Yeah, like, I'm gonna have to try know. that. It has to be that if it's saying Puerto Rico. Um, it was really bad. Um, but this yeah. got me thinking. Dude, my brain is cooking with this Pepsi now. Uh, Hanson soda. <laughs> Oh, have you yeah. ever had you these loved, little shit? Loved Hanson. Of are you? Come on, Sam. Yes. So good. We're. I'm a '90s kid, just like you. Yes, I've had Hanson soda. Oh, here's the Fire. OG one, dude. Dynamite that, that logo. Dude. The orange one was super good. Yeah, they had the pomegranate one. Yeah, Hanson's went. Hanson's goes, dude. Black cherry rings a bell. Cream uh, soda. Yeah, black cherry. Good call. Wait, what is the other one that looks like that? It's Sky. Uh, don't yeah. know. Sky soda, I think. Never had that one. Oh, oh, blue sky. Had, uh, no, never seen you that. Never one. had these. No. Do you do you remember That's... Jones soda? Jones soda was a good one. Yeah, Jones are fire. Jones, um, dude, hella sugar, delicious. Yeah, these are about the same as Hanson's, like exactly the same. Like they're. I don't think I've ever seen those. These are at like the organic market in Arcata. This one's Ooh. fire. Yeah, blue sky is really fire. These cans look sick too. Yeah, very cool. Have you ever had a cactus cooler? Uh, I haven't. I don't think, but I dude, I've cactus seen cooler that. is delicious. It's like uh, it's like orange mixed with pineapple, mixed with like oh, yeah. squirt kind of vibe. Delicious, dude. Really, they're that they're good. I used to like it. Yeah, it was really good. It's like from it's like made in Arizona or the desert or some kind of desert. I think I'm gonna try that soon. Yeah, cactus cooler, dude. What Very is the cool. okay? Uh, one more is the uh, so right around the street from Soul Food. Actually, speaking of that, there's this place called Mauna Loa in San Rafael. I think it's my favorite restaurant I've been to in the Bay Area. Uh, I it's, think I know what you're talking about. It's Hawaiian barbecue by like two yes. Chinese owners. It's it's yes, fucking yes. I'm um, I'm familiar. And they serve those like Hawaiian soda drinks. Mm. Uh, with oh. the girl with like the the lay yeah with like the guava uh, ones and the yeah they're fruit oh these yeah those are good yep yeah those are delicious dude the guava one is my favorite passion fruit yeah is also i love a good one. i love guava I, that's my favorite haritos harito yeah oh i do i love haritos very delicious i think that might be uh, my favorite soda is a guava haritos that's probably up there I was always a limon, hearty toast yeah, guy, and then and then mandarin was also delicious. Uh, yeah, those are those are really good. I want one of those right now. The guava nectar, give me that. Very very nice. I'm a uh, I'm going to Hawaii. I'm going to to Maui in like a couple months. Is that the so one pretty, that's burning? Yeah, it is the one that's burning. But I apparently, have no, I have no idea. It, I've never been there. Yeah, they want you to come back. Like they're like tourists, please oh, yeah. help us out. They want to, yeah, or else I would not even. I've been like, dude, I'm not trying to do that. You know? Oh, really? So you're going please. for like because it's an opportunity. It's like a, it's cheaper, I guess. Yeah. Well, I don't even think it's cheaper, but yeah, I'm kind of down to like give back, even though I get a trip to Hawaii out of it. You know? Yeah, I mean that's not I'm the worst idea. Like you're right, you are re reinvigorate people, yeah. the environment. While I also go leisurely chill on a beach. Did you say you've been to Puerto Rico too? I have. I've been to Puerto Rico. Um, been to the Bahamas, Puerto Rico. Uh, I've been to Hawaii. I've been to. I feel like I've been to another island, but I can't remember which one right now. But how those different, ones, different or similar were bah Bahamas and Puerto Rico? They were similar. Uh, Puerto Rico, kind of more. More big like city, I, I would say. Uh -oh. Yeah, like it. It definitely. Yeah, like like San Juan, Puerto Rico was a lot bigger than. Um, I didn't even go to Nassau in in the Bahamas. I went to the Grand Bahama Island, which is a lot more secluded. I want to say, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, a lot more secluded. Um, and I feel like Puerto Rico had more of like a rainforest kind of thing going on. 
Mm -hmm. uh, but I feel like the beaches in the Bahamas were better, if that makes any sense. That everything you said makes sense. Yeah. Um, I was only there for like a short, like a week, but I went to El Yunque in Puerto Rico and still oh, to this day, yeah. I'll show you right now. Dude, I've heard, I've heard El Yunque is really cool. I didn't make it there when I went, but I've heard it, it was awesome. This is the place I've had the best chicken in my life. I swear oh, to God, it's the best, dude. easily the best chicken I've had in my life. Um, I'll show you. Uh, restaurant. It's literally on the road of the jungle, like out in the middle of nowhere. This place. Nice. Oh, yeah. Dude, the hole in the wall stuff is amazing. Yeah. I mean, it tasted like a different kind of. I was also like on a hike after a hike, but still. Mm. Oh, here. Now you can see it. Um, oh, yeah. Geo Guesser, dude. The best chicken place ever in Puerto Rico. Amazing. Geo Guesser? Um, well, you know, because we're still on Geo Guesser. Yeah, and everyone drinks Medalla there. Oh, dude, Medalla, the gold medallions. Freaking, yeah. we do, we we pounded those things. Yeah, <laughs> they I mean, come it's, in the it's like the, it's, it's it, there's no beer in America like it. It has yes. a, it dominates, the, it's stranglehold Bro. on the. the oh market. my God, dude, we tried to, we tried to find the medallions in uh, stateside and we just couldn't do it. Like we tried to look up if they had one on BevMo or anywhere. Man, man the medallions, dude, we, we, had, we had so many of those things. <laughs> They're, yeah, they're the, the can it's is the only it, beer that not, exists there. Yeah, it's not 12 ounces. It's it's like 10 ounces. It's like one of your Pepsi cans, basically, but a little bit bigger. Um, and yeah, dude, we just like, you know, chug in one thing and then like crush it at the same time. And then, <laughs> dude, we uh we we rented like this uh this little like piece of shit van out there. It it was called like a superstar or like a something star, MVP star. I don't even know. <laughs> but but yeah we would run, roll around in this van and we we legit would keep keep a 24 because in in puerto rico they sell like 24 packs or 30 packs you know or 36 pack i think it was and we would keep that in the in the trunk and we would just reach for a medallion chug it and just like throw the empties also back in the trunk it was like so funny dude that's we just amazing yeah we didn't we didn't really have like a uh a notion of like police or uh or law abiding at all like we were just drinking and like the our driver well, you I mean, know like was our friend may, yeah. so she <laughs> sorry i was gonna say you're not lying like even i i guess last country i've been to was well i've been to mexico which oh yeah nice. talk about that you don't feel like there's anything going on no. until you see but i could i could pick up exactly what you're talking about with uh with Puerto Rico when I like when I was there it seems like it's America but like just with no cops yeah yeah it was it was funny because we were like driving and you know we're doing all that we're like our our friend was driving and she wasn't really drinking it she might have like one or two medallions I don't even know but uh <laughs> we're like coming back from the rainforest it's like two hour drive and we're pounding medallions and like all of a sudden a cop rolls by us on like a motorbike and and he's like he honks at us and we're like, dude, we're fucked. We're, he's going to find the, the medallion trove, just like 30 empties of just medallions in the back. And uh, he just, he like blurp, blurped us and then just said, uh, yeah, don't drive with your feet out the window. Because we all had like our feet out the side of the window, <laughs> like the van. It was, it was really funny, but also hella scary. We we're like, okay, maybe we should stop. Maybe we should chill in the medallions while on the road. But man, that was yeah. a good time. I miss Puerto Rico. Super fun. Yeah, I think that, I don't know if that would be better or worse than having that happen in America. But yeah, like I, I was saying, there's no there's like doesn't feel like there's a big police presence there. But at the same time, it's not like when you go to those places in America that have no police. Like it's yeah, I feel like the people are just like take care of each other. almost. Also, like everyone here's just, the, like, is nice. Yes. Here's the thing, though, like in Puerto Rico. There's probably a decent chance you can like bribe your way out of that in America. No chance. Like cops don't get bribed unless they're in like, you, think you know, so? Mississippi. In Puerto, Rico, you can, you think in Puerto Rico, they would do that. I don't know. I, yeah, really I, don't. I know in Mexico, they for sure do in Puerto definitely. Rico. I would think they're definitely more inclined to, you know, like it's not like there's a bunch of Americans in Puerto Rico. It's mainly just Puerto Ricans, you know, like 
Uh, Dude, I love it there. And I was the reason I brought I it up it. was because like I would go you back talked about the fires and you going to Maui. And it's been so long now that they had the massive hurricane in Puerto Rico. Yeah, yeah, so, dude, like, I remember that. I was so I've devastated thought about it. That. Like, do I want to go back yet? Because, like, I don't know, desperate people sometimes. If they're desperate, like, they might crime might go up. I don't know. I just and plus it's like not as much to see. Maybe plus it's yeah, just. I, but I think I. I mean, I've just only heard they've gotten no help too. And like Katrina is like parts of New Orleans are still like just destroyed. And so like that well, stuff yeah. doesn't really get fixed. So. Yeah, but I don't that's know. true. I don't know either. Um, All right, I got to yeah. plug in my laptop real quick. Hold on. The That nasty hurricane, like, I know it happens quite a bit. You know, it's in the Caribbean. But I feel like that was, like, a few years ago. I think I think that now Trump it's... Trump was shooting uh, paper towels at them. Remember, like, a basketball? No. Like, Trump, like, got <laughs> there not. to help. And he was, like, there was, like, a crowd of people talking to him. And he like took the paper towel rolls and he was like shooting it to them, like, like shooting it like a basketball. Like oh he was like gosh. shooting hoops. It was like very. Dis- I thought it was just. Dis- <laughs> yeah, I'm. Well, I'm sure you know that's kind of par for the course uh, <laughs> with that guy. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. I didn't really. I never heard of that. But I'm sure. I don't Here, put just, it past him. Let's look up a video of it. <laughs> I don't and then we'll go play him. GeoGuessr. Yeah. Uh, Let's go GeoGuess. I mean, we've literally talked about half the globe, so I think we're we're locked in on the GeoGuess. I'm I'm excited. <laughs> oh yeah, the uh, the other okay. islands were uh, were in Asia, the Asian islands, which are different, but still more islands. Watch this. Dude, I don't want to do that. It's weird. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. All right. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's kind of in poor taste, here. but I would say, you know, it's not I'm that used bad. to that. Yeah, I, that's not the worst thing he's done. <laughs> At least he showed up. <laughs> hey, yeah, ex- exactly. He probably All just right. came, went for the tripletas and the tasty chicken. <laughs> okay, let's geo guest. I'm ready. I want to guess Speed some run. geos. We each get one guest, and we have to go with one of them. Okay. Uh, I'm ready. Dude, what is going on? I don't care about this. Thank you. My laptop was trying to make me sign into my iTunes for some reason, pissing me off. I want to go Dude, I, I just got, oh, I just had to go through that with the App Store stuff. It's fucked. Dear um, Lord, leave me alone. I don't want to play famous places. Where do we do this? Uh, oh, no. GeoGuessr is kicking our ass again, dude. No, it's not. I, the timer hasn't started. Thank God. I would have had to go buy a new computer. All right, here we go. Quick play. Quick play. And you, I just like buy this. like a ton of laptops so I can play GeoGuessr for free. Boom. All right. Yeah, there there's we go. so many GeoGuessr burner accounts. Uh, oh. This has got to be Spain, right? Vodafone. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, okay. Spain is your your guess? Uh, I'm going to fitness center. Go English. With... English. Um, Wait. Uh, Switzerland. Vodafone. Switzerland. No, no, no. Liberdad. What is that? A Spanish. Oh, a damn. That, dude, that does Vodafone. sound like Spanish. Spain. 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 Spain, I think so. The building's architecture uh, doesn't sound great, but I think it. Uh, let's go, Old Town. Oh, that Portugal! Like, Portugal is close. I mean, that's pretty close, dude. Portugal is like the little little cousin of Spain, right? All right, neighborhood, uh, same neighborhood. Uh, all right, so it's not. Uh, this is English, right? Canadian, uh, eighteen good. Queensway, New York, right? No, I don't like it. Queens New York. Way. New Zealand? Mm, that's that's better. Oh, two, three. Oh. Fuck. Where's that? That that zip code. I don't know. That has We're to be like out. New Zealand Damn, or something. It's only been five minutes. How is that possible? No, it hasn't. No, that look it oh. up here. Uh I think New Zealand, dude. Like English, but it's also like, look at this. Like, I don't know anywhere with an O two three area code, but I also I doesn't really mean so bad. Uh, uh oh, no. let's look at this. Queen's way. God, does London have trees? I feel like they don't city have trees center. in London. R E R E R E Canada City Center. Mm, Canada's uh, a better guess. I would Canada, say Canada, 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 Montreal, Montreal, Canada. All right, Montreal, Montreal, Montreal. Get it, dude. Hurry up. If it's Manitoba, I'm going to be pissed. Oh fuck, UK, UK. All right, Damn they spell it. it like that too. You, yeah, right. son of. Uh, oh, this looks like some 
some beautiful. This has to be your. It looks like Brooklyn place. or something. License plate is a flat. It has the blue on the uh, left. That's they, they, don't, they don't let you see. Uh, this is Europe. I would say London too, almost like Belgium. London. I don't know. London. Let's go there. Okay, let's do it. Well, let's do Wales. Does any? No, they wouldn't pick Wales. Uh, what is Wales. I feel like it's a smaller. Let's go Cheltenham. I think that's where they lived in. Uh, oh, so I, that's a big Germany. Story. My whip uh, from Germany. Uh, okay. Oh, this is this is definitely not France. What is this? What is? That? Dude, I don't know. The GeoGuessr is very, very uh, Why is it sketchy for me. What's going on? What's going on? Are those doors, uh, dude. Those doors are European. If I've ever seen it. Amsterdam. I like that. I like that a lot. Where? I think. Where is, dude? Is Amsterdam? What is that like? Netherlands. Netherlands, Netherlands, Botari Studio Legale. Is that legal studio? Is that uh French? Ooh, I don't know. I kind of like French. Comadoni, okay. Italy. Okay. Uh, what Ma Ma like Marseille or like France? south of no. France? You don't Gosh, not Tunisia. Such... I know. All right, not south Tunisia. of France, north of north of south. Oh, oh. Oh wow, Italy. Okay, I All guess right. we're close. Uh, half one minute and a half. Uh, da -da -da -da. Roma. Vodafone. We got more Vodafone. Effetti. This is Italy. It has to be Italy, right? Yeah, dude, Roma. Okay. But didn't we just have Milan? Yeah, but it, 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 it doesn't. We got Japan twice last. They're gonna uh, trick us. Florence, Milan. Uh, Roma. I, I don't know. I've never been. Roma. Cafe Roma. Today, it's definitely Italy. Uh, Rome. Okay. Oh, bro, damn, Rome is really south. Oh, my gosh. Boom. 29 kilometers. Rome, bitch. Told you. All right. Give me uh, that. Jim Rome. One minute. I need to oh, your, dude, your that, on that's the freaking, uh, that's the, whoa, it's, it's that's really, a sick bridge, actually. This doesn't oh, help us at all. There's no signs. There's no street. This could be. Dude, I don't, I don't know why. This looks stateside to me, bro. I know. I was saying Pittsburgh. I don't know. Uh, oh, I don't know, man. I'm thinking like Oregon. Sign. Oregon? Does, doesn't that look like the River Thames, though? Or like, you know, the river that goes through Paris? I have no idea. Uh, West Virginia? Um, Blue Ridge Mountains. Shot in like blue waters. What's this graffiti say? Country roads. Where should I go? That's, a, in America? that's American graffiti. That is American graffiti right there. Good movie. Come on. That's a good uh, movie. Harrison Ford, early. I think it could be like out in Massachusetts somewhere, to be mm. honest. Okay. Uh, river. Let's look for a river. I don't like Oregon, but that's just me. Really? I think it looks no. too old to be Oregon. Yeah, I think I know what you mean. Um, like upstate New York. No, they have rivers. Okay. I don't think I don't think they have rivers. I think it's more farmy. Uh, da -da -da -da. I don't know, like right here, river. Sure, send it. Uh, where was that? Holy shit! Wait, uh, that was in France. It was in this country of like what is that? Transylvania, Lug Luxembourg. I don't know. Sure, Monaco. All right, we're done. Yeah. Um, yeah, dude, that last one. I'm I'm really disappointed in our last one. That was bad. That's fun doing speed run though, because then you speed get run, nine kilometers. Speed run is stressful. I I was getting really stressed. All I right. felt like I felt like the earth was just caving in around me. I couldn't really couldn't really think fast. Let's. Uh, I am incubating in my fucking apartment. It is just because I have all the windows closed. And it yes, is, I so same. Oh. I'm pretty steamy. Um, okay, random quiz. Here we go. I think we got lucky last time with the mugs and the video games, but if it's like some shit that I don't know, that's this is gonna suck. By the way, did you see Lauren Boebert's video? Did you see that debacle? Like the congresswoman no. from Colorado? No, I did not. I try to steer not? clear of any polit politics Good. or I'm any sorry political I brought it up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I uh I live I don't even care about it at all. I don't know why I it. What? <laughs> I said I love I live above the influence of politicians and politics Fuck as a whole entity. All right. Um but I mean whatever. 
is this the is this the the same as the the video games no it's different everyone's gonna be different so oh this is actually a good one we got some okay uh what does Mo- this say movies set in africa is that what it said can you name the movies oh this is good yeah but i need a, i need a better screen i can't read anything oh you can't uh no, you need to zoom in on it okay let's see how it looks I'm, I'm confused what can you oh see this now? oh yes it's okay. kind of cool yeah and this is so a good can, one dude do we can we match where are the other ones you know what i mean like uh so it's like you got to say the 1965 in. movie that james stewart took in the sahara desert like what's the name of the movie does that make sense? Oh, uh, I see. Okay. Well, that's it. Does let's start with the the newest ones. The well, old we can ones, go I'm anywhere. Probably not going to know because I think I know maybe 1963, Egypt. Okay. Well, like Indiana Jones, Jacob. All right. <laughs> uh, let's play quiz. Um, you want to go first? Oh, I got to sure. zoom in for you. Sorry. Yeah, I need to zoom in here. Uh, okay. Let's go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. 2009. Charlotte Copley. Let's go with. Who the fuck is that? Oh, he's like, he's the dude from, um, oh man, what's that? Uh, uh, Chappie. Chappie. I thought for sure you were going Chappie. to say Matt Damon, dude. And then no. you said Charlotte. Char- I didn't even look at that name. Put in, put in Chappie. Never... Put in Chappie. I guarantee you it's that. I don't know how to spell Chappie. It's like C H A P I. Yeah, I've heard, I've definitely heard of that this. one. That's it, dude. That movie's sick. It's really cool. Is it? Yeah, it's it's pretty sick. It's like uh, they make like robots to like police, you know, the world or, or South Africa, and then uh, they like turn on the robots, and then like Happy is like wanted for some shit, and so the uh, you know, Die Antwerp, the the band. The, oh, the, is this dude? Yeah. yeah. Baby's yeah. on fire. Yeah. So they like befriend Chappie, and then they they like Ch- the, Chappie helps them like go do heists and shit, like commit crime. It's pretty sick. Yeah, Die Antford, weirdo. Yeah, I gotta see. I gotta see that. They're pretty um, badass. Uh, but yeah, they yeah, are. Presented. But they also like groomed. It. Ugh, they did some bad shit. It sucks because the music. <laughs> did was they? Bad. Yeah, they like one of those Seems. boys in like the. Uh, what is that song? Sexy boy. It's like a. <laughs> yeah, I know that song. I think I think I think you freaky and I like I like it a lot or whatever. You've seen that? <laughs> yeah, I think I so. Think yeah, you freaky and and the music videos is like rats crawling everywhere. It's black and white. That one of the kids in that they like groomed or something. I don't. Know. It, they did Ugh. some shit. All right. I don't know. Well, um, I, I knew they were into some weird shit. So yeah, I, that does not me. that does not surprise me at all. <laughs> Chappie, uh, throw it. I I bet you it's that. It has to be. Yeah, there's another there's another movie that it might also be. It's not like, that. Like, it's not Chappie. Well, I mean, it has to be. No, no, no. There's another one. There's another one. Uh, oh yeah, because that's 2009. That movie came out in 2015. Uh, so technically, it. you lost. But let's just go again. You got to get that one of these. Other so ones. good though. Um, I mean, oh, if man. you're a big fan of him, do you know the other one? It's another one, dude. It's like uh. The one where it's it's like an alien movie, um, but it's set in South Africa. It's super weird. I it's s- um, I don't think that you're thinking of the right movie. No, no, I am. I am. It's oh man, I can't remember what the hell I know it's the called. name of the, of one movie like that, but I don't want to say it. Oh, but dude, I, I have to I have to look this up. Um, I got I'm pretty sure it's from District Nine. District Nine. It's not. That's I it. don't think it's that. It is that. It, I, that 2009? I looked it up 2009. District 9. Oh, is wow. Yeah, yeah. I've seen, yeah. Okay, that's what I was thinking of, but I did not think it was 2009. That that movie is also sick, but also yeah, kind of Yeah, it's a good movie. Yeah, but yeah. I like that movie. Boom. Yeah. Let's go. We got it. I'm okay so, with that not being cheating at all. I'm going to take this. Oh, okay. Nice. An awesome Forrest movie. Whitaker? Yes. It's a good movie. And McAvoy. James McAvoy, awesome uh, movie, dude. The Leonardo DiCaprio has to be Blood Diamond, like off yep. top. Let's dude, go. This is such a good quiz. Yeah, like this is such a niche, like good quiz. Um, give me some more. Oh, I can, I can zoom in. Never mind, we're good. Oh, you can. Okay, great. Sorry, yeah, I, I can I, zoom in on mine. Um, 
Oh, dude, Ben Stiller. I'm going to go. Madagascar. Wait, wait. We got to take turns. Oh, sorry. Um, my bad. My bad. I, I didn't know that one, though. So you can use that one if you want. Um, I'm going to oh, go nice. Hotel Rwanda. No, wait. wait for, yeah, okay. That's solid. Um, okay, I got a good one. Uh, Black Hawk Down for 2001, Josh Hartnett. Not to be confused with the porno of the spoof of that movie, Black Cock Down. Thank you for mentioning that. Um, <laughs> dude, welcome. looking at this, I don't know if there's a bad movie. Like all good movies are, or all movies made in Africa seem to be mm -hmm. pretty good. Yeah, there's um, some good ones. Shit, I might have to take yours. Um, yeah, do it, please go. I don't think so, though. I think I'm going to go with the one that I, th I might be the last one I know on this list. Boom. Oh, Which I actually thought man, 1963 Elizabeth Taylor was that, but solid. Oh, okay. Let's go with. Oh, dude. Matthew Broderick, 94, animated The Lion King. Oh, fuck. For the win. Dude, let's go. Well, I mean, I might dude. get one more. Um, Matthew Matthew Brody, he was uh, Simba, a lister right there. Yes, I got one. Who'd you get? Nice. I would not have gotten that. Uh, okay, let's go. Damn, look at Ralph Fiennes twice on this list. Uh, let's go with. Speaking of so, so uh, hold on. Speaking of Ralph Fiennes, the uh, you've seen La Silence of the Lambs, right? I have. Yes. Have you seen the sequel or prequel, actually? Uh, Red Dragon? No, I have not. Is that good? It's, I think it's a definite, like significant, not significantly, but like noticeably better than Silence of the Lambs. It's okay. such a good movie. It has like, nice. it, I think it's about, um, it's before, yeah. So it's before Jodie Foster is in the movie, like because at the end of the, that yeah. movie, I think Jodie Fo he's like, oh, there's someone here to see you, Hannibal, and he's like a cute young, uh, nice. yeah, a cute young detective from Boston College or whatever he says, and like then she's about to walk in. He's like, send her in, and uh, but yeah, okay. Red Dragon comes before that, and it's fire. It has uh, nice. Edward Norton in it. I like Eddie Norton. He's a good dude. Yeah, I mean, he's just such a good actor. All right. Very good. Um, okay, I got I got some on this. Is it my okay. turn or your turn? Yours. Um. Uh. Okay. Elizabeth Taylor, sixty-three. Cleopatra. Oh wow! Let's go. That's I don't know about you. Good. Speaking of that, I've always thought of Cleopatra as like a babe. I know what she is. Like, yeah, like the sexiest. Like there's like Pocahontas. There's oh yeah, you know princesses of like I don't even know if she is. She's not really a princess, but. Something about something about Cleopatra is a princess. Part of the, part of the world. Oh, I guess like, but she's not want... a Disney princess. Like a oh yeah, one. true. Dude, do you want to hear some good trivia knowledge? Yes. Cleopatra, the last pharaoh to ever be. Wow. How baller is that? She was a pharaoh, dude. Isn't there some weird thing about Cleopatra? It's like we're closer to when Cleopatra was around than. Cleopatra was around to like um King Tut or something. Oh no, 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 yeah, that's what it is. It's like when the pyramids were built, I'm pretty sure we are closer to Cleopatra than Cleopatra is to the pyramids. The pyramids. Built. Interesting. Yeah. That's that that makes a lot of sense because Cleopatra wasn't Cleopatra and Julius Caesar, didn't they start banging? Wasn't that the deal? Dude, I got no idea. Every time like people talk about Caesar, I think it's like a fake made up story. But he he was like a real person. <laughs> right. I swear to God. It's like I Jesus. Out for that. It's like, like sophomore year English. Wait, I checked. Did it actually that, happen? Like, <laughs> I mean, let's, I'm not getting into that. But <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> I mean, Julius Caesar is arguably, I think, less likely to happen than Jesus because it's like a story of like every trope and like it's you know. Wait, isn't it a Shakespeare story? I'm sure Shakespeare was like, you know what? This is a good story. Let's, See, that's let's what I don't just, get. Let's, let's also roll this one out. Yeah, it was. And wait, was Mark Anthony? Was it Mark Anthony and Cleopatra? Or was it Julius Caesar and Cleopatra? See, I think Mark Anthony is like an R&B singer. So this whole thing <laughs> doesn't work. 
I think of something different than all of them, except Cleopatra. What is okay? Wait, hold on. I need to find this out. And then I think think of the like the basketball player. Is his name Mark Anthony? Dude, Mm, maybe. I think Mark Greg Anthony. Oh, Greg Anthony. That's what I'm thinking of. Okay, so Mark Anthony, dude. I'm pretty sure Julius Caesar, Mark Anthony, and Cleopatra all banged. Like it was like a three way love triangle. Yeah, you're right. Mark Antony, Antony is the guy, old guy. Mark Anthony is an American singer. Whoa, sick. Okay, so it was Caesar, I believe. Julius Caesar banged Cleopatra. What a stud. What a stud. The pharaoh, He banged a pharaoh. Badass. Dude, I can't live with myself if I don't get one more of these. Um, oh, yeah, there's more on the table, bro. You got this, I believe. Oh, fuck. I believe you. I mean, now I got to look up all these movies because I guarantee they're good. There's not yeah, one bad movie that we've listened to. So um, there's some, some people I don't know about here, though. Come on, dude. There's one on the oh, table that you oh, have I gotta to I got to get say. Madagascar. Yeah, come on, you dude. You said that. That's <laughs> like, fuck yeah. That's a, that's a, a freaking meatball. Uh, okay, Val Kilmer animated Prince of Egypt. You definitely know that shit. Fuck. I know that. I think I knew that one. Yes. Val Kilmer, the that man. That was a good movie, too. I watched that shit yeah. all the time. Ironically. Yeah, animated. Uh, now, I watched that movie so much, and I have been to church like for only funerals. <laughs> I don't know why I watched there you that go. movie yeah. no, that's good. so much. Um, okay. Um, the Matt Damon one. Is that like Elysian? Elysia? Or something like that? Dude, Elysium? I think you're fucking right again. Elysium? Or Elysium? something? I, I, don't, I don't think it's Elysium. Elysium. I don't even know if I've seen that movie. I just feel like I, I knew about it. No, that's about... There was such a stint of like bad space movies made uh, like that. That's, that's, so that's not it? Yeah, it's a space movie. Um, Damn. 2013 Idris Elba commands our respect, and we are just not... Yeah, I know. We have no idea. 2014 Reese, Reese Witherspoon couldn't... I don't know about I'll that tell one. you. Legally Blonde. She's, she's, never been, she's never been to Africa, let alone Kenya. Legally, legally Black. It's called Le- she t- <laughs> Legally Blonde Pretty Six. Uh, okay, I got a Ralph Fiennes. Ralph Fiennes. Um, it's one of two movies. It's either Dr. Shivago. I don't know. What? It could be that one. Dr. Shivago? So, Dr. Shivago or The Last Patient. I was thinking of Cool Runnings, but there's nothing like that on here. <laughs> That's in Jamaica. Oh, fuck, it is. Idiot. I always think they're Kenyan. <laughs> no. I Did always think make... they're Kenyan. I know. I, I, Dude, I like Kill have I, the Mandela effect is real for me. It's bad. Like, dude. I just think really of bad. everything a little different. Denzel Washington, 1987, Did... Dustin Hoffman, Morocco. Did what you put Dr. Shivago in there? I don't know how to spell that. I got no idea how to spell <laughs> DR. It. It's like, it's, uh, yeah, it's like Z, it's ZH Shivago. or something. Shiva, Shiva, Shivago. I don't even know. All right, I'm gonna give up. Okay. Yeah. Wait, no, don't give up. Damn, Ralph. Ralph's been there twice, and we're we're doing him wrong. Also, like, come on, what's the what's the freaking Matt Damon one, dude? He was also in a shit ton what, of movies in the '90s and early. What 2000s, is he so doing down there? The Martian. Matt Damon. South Let's African. Go the, the Martian. We bought a zoo. Oh, maybe. Oh, no. You cheated? Um, no, no, no. It wasn't right. 2009 Matt Damon. Um, uh, okay. Uh, type in Out of Africa. That's just a movie I know that's from Africa. Oh. Boom. Let's go. <laughs> the most annoying actress ever. Sometimes, that's just like best. Russell Willie, you got to toss a Hail Mary out there and just pray it's answered. That was damn good. Um, uh, the Denzel, the who's the Damon Denzel guy? Needs to be said. What was Denzel doing down there? How do we not know that one? Also, I mean, it Sigourney, was 1987. I got I, just throw out the alien, Dustin Hoffman dude. one. I would think I would know more than that. Uh, throw out Alien for Sigourney Weave. No, did. damn it. Um, I mean that whole movie takes place on a spaceship. Also, like, 09 wasn't that long ago, you know? Like, what the hell? Matt Damon. Fucking born ultimatum? 
Uh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Born Legacy. Oh, I don't even know the Born. Uh, Born Switcheroo. Uh, supremacy. <laughs> Are you typing all of them in? Yeah, the Born Identity. No. <laughs> Damn, oh. no Borns. Oh wait. I think I might have one. Dude, the Matt it's Damon like, one. Holy, like, it's like it's like something green. It's like green something. Type in the kingdom. Just do that. That's another movie I think from down there. Oh, that might be the Middle East. Fuck. I think the green dude, thing you said, dude. I know the bell. I know the Ralph Fiennes one, dude. The, in the Sahara, it's like the English. It's like I'm pretty sure it's Doctor Shivago. I got no idea how to spell that. Doctor Shibago. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Doctor, spelled normal. You're having trouble with this one. Z H I V A G O. Doctor Shivago. No. Fuck. No. All right. I got to I mean, the Matt Damon one. I got to give up. I think. Uh, oh, oh, the English patient. That's the one. It's not the last patient. It's the English patient. That's Ralph Fiennes. Boom. Oh. Let's go. I didn't cheat for that one either. Matt Damon in South fucking Africa. Oh, man, I think it's... Uh, what the fuck was he doing? Is it about apartheid? That's all I can think of any movie being about there. Is no, apartheid. I, I, think it's, I think it's like a war movie. I want to say, but maybe that's apartheid. I don't know. Uh, dang it, dude, it's got something with green in the title. Or I like, know, I Paul, think I know what. Like, I green. You're ringing a bell. Or like um, Paul. Or like Paul Greengrass was the director or some shit. Uh, but I can't remember his what name. That, Paul Greengrass. Yeah, there's a Paul Greengrass out there. I guarantee it. Damn, it was like right after the Bourne movies too. gonna bug me dude it's it's like green something or maybe i'm just saying that because that's his name uh ooh, for michael douglas oh man it's a damn movie. what is that stupid movie romancing the stone just put it in there Holy see shit. if that's if that works <laughs> have you seen the movie falling down with michael douglas i don't think so no we talked about that last. I don't know. It's pretty good. He just Maybe. like gets out. Oh yeah, yeah, I did. He gets out of his car in traffic in L.A. and just starts walking. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. He lo he loses just his shit right? with every. Yeah, he just like starts <laughs> fighting people. It's kind of fucking. He's trying to get home for like his daughter's birthday or something like that, and he he just starts like like gang members like try to test him, and he just totally fucks their day up. It's like so funny, I'm yeah, but it's also like it's a like, serious movie. It's pretty good. Um, it's just about a guy like losing his mind, like just over it. Um, I mean, we're all, I'm over it too. Yeah, yeah, dude, I've thought, I think about that all the time when I, I told you how, oh, just a couple weeks ago. I Green zone. Me. Green zone. Oh, yeah, that is I, it. What? It's not how it. Is that not it? Fuck. No, that is a movie. I think he's in the Middle Middle East in that. Damn it. Son of a bitch. I thought I had it, dude. I thought I had it with the green zone. Um. What what was Dustin Hoffman doing in Morocco? All right, okay. yeah, uh, we can end this right now. Um, the Matt Damon movie was Invictus about like I think rugby or soccer. Something. Oh yes, the the rugby. I remember that now. Damn it, Invictus. But never the Constant that. Gardener. That sounds fucking interesting. All right, uh, is that Ralph? Uh, is that Ralph? Yeah, Ralph. I feel Fiennes. like that was Ralph. Dude, he's right, got man. the English patient and the Constant Gardener. The quiz is sick. I like the quiz. It is fun. That was a great one. All right. Um, oh, fuck. Right, I forgot deuces. to put the sporkle thing up. All right. Uh, God bless the rains down in peace Africa. Out. Toto. See ya. Peace out.